Welcome to a brief video where I'll go through the command words and assessment objectives for the OCR GCSE in business. There are three assessment objectives, AO1, AO2 and AO3. AO1 asks you to demonstrate knowledge and understanding of business concepts. AO1 is split into AO1A, which is the knowledge part, and AO1B, which is the understanding part. Command words linked with assessment objective one are identify, state and explain. AO2 is about application, using the case study to support any of your answers uh, for any particular question. AO2 command words are calculate, complete and explain. AO3 is split into AO3A, which is analyze, and AO3B, which is Evaluate. AO3 overall is asking you to evaluate and analyse business information and issues and demonstrate um, an understanding of activities to make a judgement and come to a conclusion. The command words linked to AO3 are Analyse, Discuss, Evaluate and Recommend. OCR do not use any other command words. So if you are able to remember those command words, you will be able to identify what assessment objective they are testing you on. The identify and state require you to demonstrate knowledge. Sometimes that knowledge will be linked to a context. You will know that if the question names a company or a stakeholder impacted by that company. Explain means you need to be able to demonstrate or apply knowledge and understanding. This is a because sentence. What are you wanting to let the examiner know? Calculate and complete a slightly different application style. Clearly, if you are calculating something, you are doing some sort of maths. If you are completing something, that is likely to be complete a table where there is a missing number. And again, you're having to do some maths to work out what that missing number is. As you can see from the screen, there are certain mathematical calculations you must be able to do. Percentages, percentage changes and averages are guaranteed to be in a paper. You will be asked to calculate revenue, costs and profits, which is often just a additional subtraction. Gross profit margins would be percentages. Average rate of return involves addition as well as division to work out the percentage. And cash flow forecasts, again, would be looking at addition and subtraction. Analyse questions go beyond explain. We are looking for logical chains of reasoning. You will have heard teachers talk in school about BLT, because leading to therefore. This is what we are looking for. It's putting sentences together to form a logical argument. Discuss and evaluate will be the longer mark questions. Here, you are looking at both sides of an argument. The structure remains pretty much the same as an analyse question. You would be expected to show application to the case study and a rational chain of thought. Recommend is a three mark question. Recommend follows the same pattern as the evaluate part of longer questions. You need to come to some form of conclusion. Advise some business one way or the other. You then will need to explain your reason for that with the supported application apart from the case study.